It happened because the high-level executives at Fox News, including its own general counsel, Diane Brandy, didn't have the courage to put an end to it. Despite being on knowledge, so I'm here to tell you about the abhor abhorrent racist behavior at Fox News and the filing yesterday of a race-based class action in the Bronx Supreme Court against Fox News and a separate case in the Southern District of New York on behalf of Ms. Blanco, works in accounts receivables, and she witnessed and was the recipient of numerous... Ms. Blanco put Diane Brandy, the general counsel of Fox News, on notice of Ms. Slater's racist conduct as early as 2008. That is nine years ago. And Ms. Brandy didn't even ask Adassa for examples, and nothing was done as a result. The high-level executives at Fox News, including its own general counsel, Diane Brandy, didn't have... Part of proceeding as a class action, which we're, we're hoping to proceed as if the judge gives us that approval, would be to, to create um, systemic change. That can be ordered by a court if, if a uh, parties unwilling to do it on their own, and such change um, can happen. We're also seeking, as I said um, in my remarks, uh, compensation for what each one of our clients has gone through. Capable of ridiculing people based on the color of their skin, Ms. Brandy. Yesterday, Fox also issued a statement calling the addition of 10 new current and former employees, the people that I'm here with today, they called, the, they called these complaints copycat complaints. Well, I don't know who came up with that, but it sounds like the 18th century Fox public relations team. Because in the 21st century, folks, we call 10 new current and former employees systemic race discrimination. Despite receiving complaints from black men and women, Ms. Brandy believed that she could We have a culture of systemic and institutional racial bias. And so when my colleagues from other departments began to publicly reveal their encounters with blatant acts of discrimination in their department, I watched it, I prayed about it, I cried over it and said, I can no longer sit in silence, collect my paycheck, and act like I didn't experience racial bias on my own level as an on-air personality. Later, come into the office and act.